I've been out of it for quite a while. So my desk here is a mess. I'll have to clean it up. But I've also been busy, very busy printing all the parts that I need for this uh, project. So for instance a couple of runners. Uh, two of these blocks that will hold the syringe and lots of other parts, additional parts. All this has got to be mounted to uh, a couple of frames which I'm gonna make out of uh, wooden parts. This is one instance of, uh, of an assembly drawing and a couple more. So I'm gonna start by making these parts. So to make life a bit simpler for myself, I've added all the wooden parts to one assembly, which uh, allows me to make a list of the parts that I need with the dimensions. Beautiful. I finished with the main assembly parts. This is the tabletop uh, sub-assembly that will uh, feature both uh, the syringes. This the big part over here is the, the pedal base and this is going to be the foot pedal. This is going to be in between here and it's going to flip like so. So apart from that, I made a couple of uh, aluminium pieces, some U-shaped uh, profiles, some T-bar, piece of threaded rod, and some aluminium plates, all according to those drawings. So that means that apart from pre-drilling some screw holes, that all the wood pieces are done. I've finished printing all the plastic parts. So next thing up is cleaning all these parts. That's gonna take me a couple of hours. And after that I can finally start assembling. I am ready to start assembling all the parts that I've made so far. And that includes the wooden frame parts, all the 3D printed parts, and all miscellaneous parts like bolts and nuts and bearings. I made a list of all the nuts and bolts and bearings and all other stuff uh, I'm going to be using. It makes sense to start out with the smaller sub-assemblies and build my way up to bigger and bigger assemblies until finally the main assembly. So first up is the foot pedal which would be these two parts. Need these two. And those two. And another copy, those two pieces of threaded rod with a couple of nuts. These two spacers made out of aluminium. I can lose the paper now. So I found most of the stuff that I need. I'm going to need at least four of these. One, two, three, four. 
Apparently I forgot to clean out these holes. Let's clean it off. Little clean up. Other way. and mirror image Last screw. Okay, now there's this. Stick out on the left hand side, right here, it says 35mm, so extend this to 35 that means that this has to come in a little bit, like so, and this goes on top, so apparently the distance between these two needs to be 72 in order for the distance between these holes to be identical to this distance. So, 72, and a little bit more. Seems to be 72 enough. Let's do a test fit. the other way around. I was hoping this would still turn, but I'll leave that for later. So that's it for this assembly. On to the next. So next up is the pedal base. Here it is. So for now, this one has to come off. And then hopefully the entire pedal assembly will slide just right in.
that reminds me there are a couple of nuts that need to go on here and on the outside here so let me look that up but for now this already looks okay so this is a drawing of how the pedal assembly and the pedal base sub-assembly go together but it involves drilling a couple of holes to mount this plate to this upright first let's remove this one again if it wants to first let's drill out this hole a little bit Plans call for a couple of nuts. Uh, one nut here, but here I'll use two and clamp them together. And on the outside here, I'll use a self locking nut. And let's check the width. So it'll mount something like this. A little bit of play here. That should do. First, let's clamp these together. That's tight enough. Part. I think it went this way around. Okay. Doesn't need to be super tight. And again, I make a mistake. Still has to go on right here. So ten and then from the top. You can lose the paper now. Okay. From the edge of the wood to the edge of the aluminium. So it's 45 mm. And this should do one, two, three, and four. So I managed to find a couple of screws. That have to get the right length. Actually, let's keep it clean on the outside.
try again. Tiny bit of friction is okay, so I'll leave it at that. And here, one, two, three, four. <coughs> Finally. Okay, so actually attaching the cables is something I'll do at the very end. But the clearance seems to be okay. The only problem is the center of these two blocks should align with the center of, of this uh, curved part. And at the back here, at the back here as well, they're off by something like about 12 or 13 a month. This threaded rod needs to come over. in line now. Uh. 
it all seems to align, so let's clamp it down. Finally, the washer is on. This is what we're looking at. Slight bit of play. So it's not pretty, but this concludes the pedal sub assembly. Let's try it out. So there it is all finished. It's moving. Let's see if I can take the weight of my, uh, my foot. Seems to work just fine. Everything seems to clear. So on to the next sub assembly.